Hi. I'm starting to feel very good about making these videos on retirement. Why? Because of the response I'm getting for so many from so many people like you. I'm getting comments. Every single video I put out, I get these positive comments saying people people saying they like what they're listening to, etc. etc. And quite frankly, it's very flattering. Because as I've said I've said in some of these videos before, I'm not an expert on retirement. I've simply lived through a long period of retirement, 28 years, and I'm now 87, and feeling good about it. And I think the good comes from being able to give. I'm very convinced that that's the thing. We spend our life gathering things, learning things. Then we get to a certain age and we think, well, so what? What can I do now? And what we can do, of course, is pour it all back in. Give it back to other people. As I've said almost ad nauseum now, I took voluntary redundancy at 59 and I'm now 87. I worked for 44 years in the workforce. Started work on my day after my 15th birthday as a telegram boy, delivering telegrams on a bicycle. Can you imagine that today? Hardly anyone had the telephone on in those days. If you were a doctor, or you ran an office, or you were a professional, you probably had a telephone. I'm talking about Australia here now. Public telephone boxes lined various streets and you had to put coins in to make a call. That's all gone now. After that, I joined the Navy, the Australian Navy, served in it for six years, left there, became an air ground operator, Department of Civil Aviation. I was this, you know, you've heard the thing, ground control from Major Tom, ground control from Major Tom. Well, I was the ground control, <laughs> an air radio operator. And I did that in the outback of the Australian outback and also in the, the jungle villages. <laughs> I'm exaggerating a bit here. Small towns in Papua New Guinea way back in the 1960s. All so different now. Lived in New Zealand for a while. Did heaps of jobs. Foundry labourer, factory worker, truck driver office worker, of course, laboratory assistant, even had a year as an Antarctic expeditioner. Probably the high point in my life. And that was in 1977, a full year. And then, of course, the humdrum work of office work, flexi time, and that's when I started to really knuckle down and gather some skills such as creative writing, writing books, writing essays, short stories, poetry, and, of course, learning how to speak in public. I did that by joining Toastmasters International. If you're American, you'll probably know what that is, a public speaking and leadership organisation which started way back in 1924. My advice to you, if you lack confidence in speaking to groups, join Toastmasters International. But to get back to you, I'd like to say thanks to all of those people who have given me likes, comments and so forth and have viewed the videos I've been putting on. Because for a period of about six years, I probably had 30 subscribers and maybe two and a half thousand views. In the past six months, that has rocketed up to something like 78,000 views, thousands of ticks, hundreds of comments, 
and getting up towards a thousand, <laughs> not quite there yet, getting up towards a thousand subscribers. I'm flattered. And quite frankly, I owe it to you. So I'm hoping that these videos that I put out and will continue to put out will be of use to you. After all, as it's been said once again, almost ad nauseum, we can spend nearly 30 years of our life in retirement. Not all of us, but a lot of us. We don't know how long we will be retired. So it's good to know a bit about it and what to do. That's the main thing. What to do in retirement to keep ourselves happy, fulfilled. And one of the ways to do that, I think, is, as I said before, to help others to be a teacher. And to be a teacher is, I think, 